Hello and thank you for watching. My name is John and welcome to the Crash Course in Maya version 2011 Bones and Joints series. This is section 1, Introduction. This video is a table of contents for the videos in this series. I would like to make an important note that this is not a rigging series. I repeat, not a rigging series. This series will talk about bones and joints and the details about them. The next video in this series, section 2, is bones and joint basics. That video will discuss the difference between bones and joints, the location of the joint tool, creating a joint chain, the hierarchy created when making a joint chain, some options of the joint tool, and modifying some display settings. Section 3, Modifying an Existing Joint Chain, discusses on modifying a joint chain by adding, deleting, or extending a joint chain. This also discusses uh, moving a joint chain a joint inside the chain, the difference between moving and rotating a joint chain, and how to move a single joint within a chain without affecting its children. In addition, it's going to touch base on some labels and attributes to help you with creating your uh, joint setup. Section 4, joint, orienta joint Orientation, discusses and goes in detail about uh, joint orientation, such as the location for automatic joint orientation, the order of operations for joint orientation, the world up, how to manually orient joints, why you would want to manually orient joints, and a quick mouse script for spot to the spine. I'm also going to post that script inside that video's comments, so if you have any questions on that or need a quick find, just go there. Section 5, Mirrors and Names, discusses on how to mirror joints to different sides of a joint chain the importance of naming conventions, and a couple of workarounds if you have a small mind slip on actually creating a naming convention as you're creating your joints. So next section is section two, bones and joints, and I hope this series uh, is very helpful to you. Please feel free to leave any comments on any of the series, uh, or any questions on, that you may have, and I'll do what I can to answer them. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.